What's up, Drama Alert Nation? I'm your host, Ty Blue, and today we have some absolutely ridiculous stories to cover, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, now this first one is crazy, and it's coming from a YouTuber and streamer known as Matthew Cerna. Matthew Cerna having a channel that sits at around 30,000 subscribers. And apparently last night, a drive-by happened while he was live on Twitch. Here's a clip of that. There's like 20 dudes up there. Did you hear that, you guys? Someone just got shot, I think. <laughs> Did you guys hear that shit? Oh my god. Do I need to grab a gun right now? That was actually really close. And now a car speeds off. A car just sped off. I think my neighbor just got driven, but you know, let me let me go check actually. Hold on. I might need to grab a gun just in case, but I think it's just a drive by. Now, at first, I was pretty suspicious just because of the way he reacted. But after doing some digging, we found a police report from the same area of Matthew confirming an attempted murder drive by that matches up with the same time of the stream. And we even reached out to Matthew to clarify. He responded in DM, saying that the shooting was indeed last night and the police report does in fact match up. And if so, the police report states that the victim was shot multiple times but miraculously survived. Which is fucking insane, dude. Hopefully the guy ends up being okay. Okay, now next up, hacking has been running rampant in the community over the last few days, and today was no different, with some really big creators getting hit. The first of the two being Boogie2988, with his channel at 3.3 million subscribers just before the breach. But now his channel is completely gone. That's right, a hacker logged into his account and manually deleted his channel, with it now saying it is no longer available. Also, Boogie's Twitter account tweeting out a random promo for a CSGO gambling website. A lot of people believing that that website had something to do with it, but their official Twitter saying this. We would like to clarify, we are not at all affiliated with the hack on Boogie2988. We are investigating and are trying to learn more. And now the person who everyone is saying really hacked Boogie said this. Just to clear things up, no other group had any involvement in this. Boogie did not quit YouTube, I closed both channels. Showing evidence with two screenshots of him having access and changing passwords to his accounts. And the other creator targeted today being Superwoman aka Lily Singh. Her account tweeting out this. Imagine getting hacked by Poodle Corp. Oh wait, you don't need to, laughing my ass off. And haha, ha, Lily Singh, more like like Rex Singh, then tweets pouring out saying hacked by Poodle Corp. And of course her channel with tons of titles changed. Now a lot of people are saying that the hackers behind this are getting info and password from it being leaked and posted to websites. I'm not too sure how this is really happening, I don't really know the ins and outs to this sort of stuff, but if you consider yourself a potential target, I recommend changing your password and two-step verification. I mean I don't know if that will help, but it's not gonna hurt. Okay, now moving on. A streamer has apparently been getting death and rape threats recently. That streamer being so vindictive on Twitch. She said this last night. I feel so uncomfortable live on stream because someone who frequents my stream thought it was funny to joke about killing and raping me. And I hate that this is deemed appropriate by most internet users because he put JK after he realized it was too far. And guys, this is honestly just messed up. Like even if you are joking around in some sort of weird fucked up way. It's just, it's not right to do that to people. Okay, now this next one has been a pretty big controversy here lately, and it's coming from the CSGO gambling community. Now, keep in mind that these are just allegations, and nothing has been 100% proven yet. But a video went up a few days ago where a channel known as CSGO News basically said that MoTV and members of FaZe have been scamming their viewers with CSGO gambling websites, where they pretty much just allegedly make videos getting big payouts from a site known as CSGO Wild, and then sending their viewers with an affiliate link to the website where in reality they wouldn't make as much as advertised. However, he then posted another video yesterday with an update and continuing with the allegations. And after that, someone tweeted at Rain saying this. CSGO News just uploaded his evidence video. Honestly, I'm on your side and it's a shame that people don't open their eyes. Rain responding with, not even gonna bother watching it. If people believe that bullshit, then it is what it is. Aren't kids I want on my side anyways. Then another guy tweeting at Rain saying, if he can't reply and answer the evidence, it's simple. He fucked up and he knows it. CSGO News made some big points. Rain saying, bro, I know I'm innocent. I don't care about that loser trying to get views. I have way more important shit to deal with. Then, okay, mate, I'm just saying he made some valid points on the situation and fans are now questioning and want to know the real truth. Rain with, most AIDS video ever. Again, full of allegations and no evidence. He's a fake pussy. The other guy saying, all right, mate, I'll take that as your response to me and the fans, but I'm sorry, I'm going with CSGO News. And finally, Rain with, that's cool, side with a liar who 
tries to hurt people for zero reason. I literally work with CSGO Wild, I don't see the issue. So yeah, obviously it's anyone's guess who's right or wrong in this situation, but I don't know if it's Rain's best choice to just ignore the allegations. He said this today. So the same kid lied about me some more on a video. What's new? Really don't know whether to say something or just ignore him, lol. All right, now next up, servers for Smite went down on multiple different platforms today, and they may have been hacked with a very interesting error message. Sent in from a viewer, it says, emergency restart, game back shortly, apologies bitches. <laughs> now it seems hi -Rez has fixed the issue, saying that the incident was resolved. GG Smite, <laughs> GG. All right, now this last one is pretty fucking funny and it happened live last night. Apparently while Nuda was streaming, he got a little sleepy. Here's a clip of that. rock a by Nuda in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. And when the bow breaks, the Nuda will fall. And <laughs> down will <laughs> come stream. <laughs> Cancer and all. Jesus Christ, sorry for that. All right, that's all the news we've got for today, guys. If you enjoyed Drama Alert, do me a favor and give this video a like. And as always, this has been your host, Ty Blue, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Congrats on 1.5 mil. Been here since 1.6 mil. Ah! <laughs>